how are you learning to work more effectively with different personality types? Right. Well, having written a book on personality, um, if I break it down, what I am taking in when I meet someone is where are they on this energy triangle? Um, and <clears throat> based on where they are, I know that that energy comes with strengths and it comes with weaknesses. Um, and my, my goal is not to change the person, but to let them be themselves. I, I want them to have their... So, for example, um, if I'm I as an evangelist in, let's say, communication, and I know I've got a maven on my hands, I've got to step back and let them explain something to me very fully and very completely before I jump in. Because that's how mavens like to communicate. They like to tell you all the pieces of the system. So then, ah, look at this wonderful system. But they'll start with the doorknob and then the door and the <laughs> stairway and then the window and then the kitchen. You're like, oh, it's a house. Okay, got it. You know, um, or but but mavens go in a very logical fashion. On the other hand, relators will go in a very organic, networked fashion of communication, which again is anti evangelist. I mean, we evangelists like to make points and back them up, right? So you can, so you can understand and agree or disagree, right? We're persuading you all the whole time, right? Whereas the relator is coming from a point of view of building the relationship. So they're expressing their feelings and things like that. So part of the thing is to know what you're dealing with first and then to give them the space to be themselves, um, you know, and that way they, they're going to give you from their greatest strength from wherever they're at. And then you're going to be able to receive that thing. It, it won't be in the way that you thought you wanted to receive it. Hmm. Um, and so that goes with communication or, or carrying out a task or whatever it is. Um, so you've got to let that person do it their way. Mm -hmm. Why is it different than what you would expect it to be? Because of where you sit on the triangle. Oh, okay. Right? I, I mean, I can, I can step above this triangle and see myself. But at the end of the day, that's my, that's, you know, I'm right-handed. I'm going to pick up this tool with the right hand. So I'm going to process the world and deal with the world from that tool. Yeah. Um, in spite of knowing the, the model, because mm -hmm. um, that's I want to be me <laughs> as well. But if I don't, um, if I can't see that the other things are happening, mm -hmm. then other, then I'll judge everybody by that fact, right? So if you impose your energy and your value system on other people, then you're you're not going to get back what you want, you know. And then and then you can't you can't go create something.